It says, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Look at verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And if you read that, you would think that they'd already had their kingdom because it said restored again. But that's David's kingdom where they had it such prosperous and, and was peace and everything else. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses, witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and all Samaria, Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Uh, I'm going to skip part of this year because I, I'm running out of time. But I'm going to go to where he is coming again. Amen. Yep. Look at Revelation chapter 1. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 1. Hmm. Verse 7 of chapter 1. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. Go to Revelation 15 or 11. Revelation chapter 11. Look at verse 15. Or, let's see. Yeah, verse 15. And the seventh angel sounded, and there was a great voice in the heavens, saying, The kingdom of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. That's your earthly kingdom. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> look at Zechariah chapter 14. Zechariah chapter 14. Look at verse 4. It says, And his feet shall stand that day upon the Mount of Olives, this is his second coming, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west, and there shall be a great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove unto the, toward the north, and half of it toward the south. And ye shall flee to the valleys of the mountains, for the valleys of the mountains shall reach unto Azil, or whatever that is. Yea, ye shall flee like as you fled from the earthquake in the days of years. Uzziah. Uzziah, the king of Judah, and the Lord my God shall come, and all the saints with thee. Look at verse 9. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day there shall be one Lord, and his name one. Yeah. So he is coming. There is a resurrection. And a lot of people better start reading and searching the scriptures and, and don't see what I say or anybody else says, but as Les Felick would say, what the book says. Amen. Amen. So, that's all I got, brother.